What is up you guys, Max back here with another video. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about a lawsuit that has been pending for a while, talking about the C7, Z06, and Grand Sport wheels. This is a lawsuit against General Motors, basically about the quality of the wheels. A lot of people had issues with them. And what inspired me to make this video is, it's sort of a follow-up to a video I made a while ago where it looked like this case was going to be dismissed. It doesn't look like that is the case anymore. And then also, I was fortunate enough where a viewer actually gifted me his cracked rear Grand Sport wheels and tires, and I really do appreciate it. I'm not really sure exactly his name. I have his email address, not sure exactly if he wants me to tell everyone his information or anything like that, but just know if you're watching this video, I really do appreciate it. I will put some pictures of his wheels on the screen. So I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a background on the case, show you guys this guy's wheels, and then give you guys my opinion on what General Motors should do about it. So this is the claim from the plaintiffs. 2015 to 2019 model year C7 Corvette Z06 and 2017 to 2019 model year C7 Corvette Grand Sport cars are prone to warping, deforming, and cracking. Cracking is what we saw in the guy who gave me his wheels and I will go into detail about his wheels in a second, but so that is what GM is being accused of, making wheels that are not fit to be on roads and they crack easily and they get damaged easily. So now I'm gonna give you GM's response to all of these claims. In this article it says, GM sought to have this lawsuit dismissed as the wheel defects mentioned in the suit are apparently a design defect rather than a manufacturing defect and are thus not covered by the vehicle's factory warranty. Now I find this even as a GM fanboy, as someone with a Camaro currently and someone who aspires to have a C8 Corvette one day. I really do like GM products, specifically Chevrolet, but this is sort of a crazy thing to respond with, talking about it being a design defect. I mean, when you get a warranty, you don't really care what the cause of the defect was. You just know there's a defect and you want it to be resolved. So whatever happened on the back end, whether it was manufacturing, design, any category, any group that caused this to happen or caused this to occur, as a consumer, you really don't care about that. So kind of a lame response by GM. And this is only because I feel like you could blame anything on a design defect, the engine, the exhaust, anything that goes wrong, I feel like you could blame on a different department other than the manufacturing team or anything like that. So I feel like that's kind of a weird thing to respond with, but that's what they responded with, or at least this article claims that that is what they believe is the reason why they shouldn't have to cover the wheel defects in their warranty. In the article, it also states, the automaker also says the problem is not its fault, placing blame on the owners for their driving style and for running over large potholes. Now, this is especially irritating because I know that there's a lot of drivers that did not drive crazy or anything, and their wheels still got messed up. I know, at least speaking to the guy who gave me his Grand Sport wheels, he basically confirmed that the way he drove was nothing out of the norm and that his wheels got cracked just from driving normally, so sort of disappointing that they would make that vague claim. In this article, one person backed up the claims I'm making about this guy I'm referring to who gave me his wheels. It says, since it is hundreds or thousands of miles after the damaging event, the driver often can't remember hitting anything that would justify a crack in the wheel. So sort of going along with that same theme that it's really not the driver's fault of these cracked and deformed wheels. Now I'm gonna specifically dive into the wheels that I was given. So if you guys take a look at these wheels, you guys will see a bunch of little cracks that attempted to be repaired, maybe four or five, maybe six different little tiny cracks. So anything that where you can see that little rubber cement where it was, you know, like I said, attempted to be repaired, that is where the crack was. And basically you're gonna say, what's wrong with a little bit of a crack? Not really a big deal, but this was causing his tires to deflate a little bit as he drove, so he had to get new wheels and tires in the rear, so that came out of his pocket. Not sure if the car is still in warranty or not, but like I said, that came out of his pocket, and GM is not really doing anything about that, even though, like I said, it's not really the driver's fault in this case. So to sort of wrap up and give my conclusion on what I think should happen, I mean, I really feel like GM should make things right and sort of replace anyone's wheels that gets damaged at no fault of their own. But at the same time, I can see why them as a company is trying to make money that would cost a lot of money. So although, like I said, I wish GM would just go out of their way and replace everyone's wheels and just honor whatever warranty anyone has, I feel like they're getting really into the fine print when they start talking about design flaws. But at the same time, 
Like I said, they're a company, they wanna make money. It would be a huge detriment to them to just go out and replace everyone's wheels. Many people would crack their wheels on purpose just to get brand new ones. You'd never know with people. So that's those are my wishes, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I think this lawsuit is gonna to continue to drag on. This article I've been referring to came out about four months ago, so I'm not sure where the case is right now. I'm not sure if it's gonna settle anytime soon or what's going to happen. But I just wanna give a huge shout out to the guy that gave me his wheels. I don't know what exactly I'm gonna do with them. I don't really have a whole lot of use for them. They're sort of like defective, right? You know, they're not gonna be able to go on any vehicle. They say Corvette on them and I don't drive a Corvette. They are some pretty big wheels. The tires have about 50% life in them. Not sure what I'm gonna do, but I just wanna give a huge shout out to him for giving them to me and allowing me to make this video and touching on this topic. Any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And I would really appreciate if you guys subscribed and liked the video. And that's gonna be it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.